how I got my first thousand subscribers through taking action and a little bit of law of attraction. Hi love bugs, welcome back to my channel. It's PZ Lou, and if you're new, thank you so much for hitting that red subscribe button and joining the family. I get really excited when the family grows because we all deserve to live the life that we desire and manifest the things that we want most in life. So today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We usually talk about the law of attraction, manifesting the life you desire, self-development, personal growth, spirituality, and so on and so forth. But today's video, we're talking about how I got my first thousand subscribers because people were asking me how my channel kind of skyrocketed like all of a sudden I literally had like 200 subscribers for like a year and a half and then all of a sudden it was just like bam 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 and it was because I took action and I used some law of attraction techniques so I have four tips for you guys today before we get into the law of attraction stuff on how I took action and how I grew my YouTube channel so the first tip for today is to upload more so when I first started my channel I didn't really have a method to my madness I just wanted to make videos I was really into the law of attraction I was so excited about the way that my life had been changing and I wanted to make videos about it and share it whenever I wanted but when I decided and when I set the intention that I wanted my YouTube channel to grow which wasn't even that long ago it was a little bit less than a year ago um things started changing for me I started uploading more. I started uploading like every other day instead of like once a week or once a month. I started talking about different things. I started broadening my horizons and the more videos that I made, the more content that I put out there, YouTube was suggesting my videos more. I mean, I kid you not, for like a year or so, I would have like five views a day three to five views a day and it went from that to like 500 views a day. You know what I mean? And um. A lot of it was because I uploaded more and the more that I uploaded, I had more content and certain videos that I make, a lot of people are interested in. And so some videos of mine have a hundred views. Some of my videos of mine have 15,000 views. It really just depends on those viral videos that YouTube is actually pushing out. So just upload as much as you can because the more uploading you do, the more chances you have of YouTube suggesting your videos and pushing it out there and you going viral. My second tip for today is to engage at least 95% of the time. So sometimes I wake up and I might have like 20 comments that I need to answer. And sometimes I'm really tired. It might've been a long day. It's been a rough year actually, I think, I think for most of us. Um, but I don't feel like answering the comments, which is absolutely stupid, right? You should be so grateful that you have these comments that you wake up to because people are watching your channel. They're watching your videos. They're engaging in their videos. They're putting you more in the YouTube algorithm by commenting, liking, subscribing, and so on and so forth. So make sure that you engage at least 90% of the time. I understand when your channel starts getting big, like I can't answer 200 comments a day. I have like life outside of YouTube and I make money outside of YouTube doing other things. So um, it can be a little discouraging sometimes when you don't have time to answer every comment or every reply, you know, but engage at least 90%, 95% of the time. Why? Because it's going to make people come back. They're going to like you more. Duh. Not only that, but wouldn't you want to help the people that are watching your videos? Are you just making videos for the hell of it and not really any purpose behind it? Like you want people to engage. You want to know that you're helping people. So when people are messaging you like, hey, how should I do this? Hey, what do you think about this? Hey, I really like your video. Respond back. Say thank you. Give them some more suggestions. You know what I mean? Tell them to watch the video again because maybe they didn't watch it all the way through, which happens a lot. A lot of times subscribers comment and ask me questions, but they didn't watch the whole video. So I have to answer questions that are already answered in the video so just make sure you watch videos all the way to the end because usually your questions will get answered but basically back to the point of tip number two is to engage with their audience as much as possible it's going to make them come back it's going to make them like you more it's going to make them respect you more at the end of the day you're going to get more fulfillment for the fact that you're helping people out so much you know the third tip for today is the three t's title topic thumbnail these are so important again like I said when I first started making YouTube videos I used to just post videos didn't care about the title topic or well I cared about the topic but not really the title or the thumbnail I just wanted to make videos but the title topic and thumbnail are so imperative if you want to get your first thousand subscribers so whatever your title is make sure that that is a topic of your video no clickbait. Don't be like Taylor Swift dating a new guy and then start talking about the law of attraction because you want to clickbait. No, that's not going to do you any good. Whether you attract 
a thousand people to that video because you put in Taylor Swift dating new guy is not going to matter for the longevity of your channel. You want to make sure that whatever your title is, is the topic that you're speaking of. YouTube transcribes videos. Whenever you make a video, there's a transcript of it. So the more times I say how I got a thousand subscribers or how I got my first thousand subscribers on YouTube, the more I say that, the more my video is going to be suggested because that is my exact title. Your title and your topic have to go hand in hand. You have to talk about what your title is. You want to say your title several times because your audio is being transcribed and transcripted. And so YouTube can send the videos out to people that are actually looking for that video. Third T, the thumbnail. Very, very important. Do not allow YouTube to choose your thumbnail for you. If YouTube chooses your thumbnail for you, a lot of the times it's like, you know, you taking a breath or in between sentences, you want to make sure that you choose a really complimenting picture or really complimenting text that has to do with your video. I'm not saying your thumbnail has to be exactly what your title is. You can kind of use your thumbnail to reach more people by using more catchier text or a more catchier phrase. For instance, I don't haven't made my thumbnail for this video yet, but I know that my thumbnail is going to say something probably catchy. My face is probably going to be like, oh my God, first thousand subscribers. Oh, yay. Mm, so pretty. And instead of putting how I got my first thousand subscribers, I'll probably put something like, do this. It works. Try this, it worked really fast. Wow, I did this and my channel blew up. You know, you gotta put catchy phrases, catchy bold text, and a really nice picture. Or you don't always have to have a picture, but whatever it is, make sure that your thumbnail is catchy. Because when you get that notification that one of your subscribers has posted a video, if they look like this, you're probably not gonna click on it, right? Make sure that your thumbnail is inviting. Make sure that you say the title in your video several times. Make sure that your topic and your title go hand in hand. That way, YouTube algorithm won't get confused and they'll know this video is about how she manifested her first thousand subscribers or this video is about how she got her first thousand subscribers, period, because it's in the title and it's in the text from the transcription. She's saying it a lot. Yes, we're not confused. This person wants to know how to get a first thousand subscribers. We'll send them Peasy Lou's video. And that's all that it is to it for tip three, the three T's. The fourth tip today is about your SEO, which is search engine optimization. So whatever your title is or your topic is, you want it to be something that somebody is typing into a search engine. For instance, this video again is how I got my first thousand subscribers. That's a really good title and a really good topic because a lot of people want to know about how to get their first thousand subscribers. And it's something that I know for a fact is going to get typed into the search engine, how to get your first thousand subscribers, you know, make sure that your title is something is answering a question that somebody is putting in the search engine. Get it? Along with that, for the SEO, you got to make sure that your descriptions and your tags and your hashtags are all on point. So my description of this video will include several different tags in typing um, that will attract people more to this video. So in my description, I might be like, Hey, today's video will teach you how I learned to get my first thousand subscribers. This video definitely will help you grow your YouTube channel. If you want to grow your YouTube channel and get your first thousand subscribers, pay attention to this video, pay attention to the four tips that I have to get you because that way I guarantee you that you will grow your YouTube channel and reach your first thousand subscribers. This is how you will get monetized. You know, these are all tags that I'm typing into the description, not necessarily as tags, but into the description to make them flow smoothly so it doesn't seem like you're actually a robot and you're actually describing and having good tips for the people that are tuned in for your viewers. Um, along with that is the actual tags. So when you're uploading your YouTube videos, I'm sure you notice it says title, description, tags add to playlists, and so on and so forth. So your actual tags, you'll put in actual tags. 
how I got my first thousand YouTube subscribers, how I got my first thousand subscribers, how I manifested my first thousand subscribers, how my how to get your YouTube channel to work for you, how to make your YouTube channel grow, what to do to make your YouTube channel grow. Those will all be different tags. Those are all different ways of saying the same thing so that you can create a bigger audience for YouTube to suggest your videos to. So that's very important. Last thing about SEO is actual hashtags. So after you write all your description, at the end of the description, you can put your hashtags. You can look at my description to see for yourself, but it'll be like hashtag PZLU, hashtag law of attraction. That's what my, mainly my channel is about. Hashtag how to get your first thousand subscribers, hashtag how to manifest YouTube subscribers and so on and so forth. So you want to make sure that with your SEO, you're including hashtags, regular tags, and making sure that your title is descriptive with tags in that as well. So that's all the basic tips that I have for you guys on taking action to grow your channel. But this is a law of attraction channel, right? Yes, this is a law of attraction channel. So what the hell was I doing? I think because I made this channel for fun initially, I wasn't trying to manifest like blowing up on YouTube. But then when I decided that I was spending so much time making these videos, why not make money for it? Why not make money off of this? And why not make this my job? So I started using the law of attraction and my channel has blew the F up again. I when the pandemic started in March, I had 217 subscribers. Now I have like 1880 or something like that. I don't know, but, and that's because I started using the law of attraction recently. Like, damn, if my channel's about the law of attraction, why don't I manifest a bigger channel and make this my job? Duh. Um, and so that's what I started doing. So I started visualizing, um, my channel being bigger, I started visualizing more people commenting. I started visualizing people, you know, life changing. I start visualizing success stories. I start scripting. Like I'm so happy, excited, and grateful that I'm YouTube famous. I'm so happy, excited, and grateful that my channel is growing. Um, I start talking about it to people. I start spreading the word, word of mouth. Like, oh my God. Oh, you are into stuff like that? I totally have a YouTube channel. You should totally check it out. My channel is growing every second. You know what I mean? Um, and so I started actually doing these law of attraction techniques and they have been working so i see like i said i have about 1860 subscribers so a month from now hopefully i'll have 5k a month from now i will have 5k subscribers and when that happens i'll make the video and i'll link this video in it about how i said it what happened and how i manifested because i am a manifesting queen we all are you just gotta believe it so that's all i really have for you guys today do the four tips that I told you about. Use the law of attraction. Visualize yourself being YouTube famous. Visualize yourself with your first thousand subscribers. Visualize yourself getting YouTube monetized and Google AdSense sending you that letter saying that you're monetized and asking for your bank information. Talk about it to yourself. Self-talk in the mirror or mirror talk. I'm YouTube famous. I'm so grateful that I have 5,000 subscribers now. I'm so grateful that I got my YouTube plaque 100,000 subscribers now. You know, you can manifest it, but make sure that you take the action first because you gotta take the action. You know, inspired action speeds up the law of attraction. That's all that I have for you guys today. I have to go run out the door really quick. I'm running late, running some errands. But if you like this video, please be sure to give your girl a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button. If you have, once again, thank you. Please be sure to hit the bell to get my notifications so you can be notified of every time that I post a video and you don't miss out on any amazing content or me. Ah. And comment down below if you're new, introduce yourself. Comment down below what kind of YouTube channel that you have. And comment down below if you have any other tips for subscribers or for YouTube creators on how they can reach their first thousand subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you guys very soon. Actually, I am going live on Tuesday, March 16th. I'm not sure of the time yet, but I'll make a YouTube post to let you guys know. And I'll see you there. Bye.